rcvikings.se. For anybody who's been around for a long time on uh, Facebook and in the RC community, you guys all know Torbjörn, uh, one of my friends from Sweden. He's actually the, the, the originator of the RC Vikings. And uh, I was actually sent uh, a package in the mail. I've got my birthday on Saturday. Woo woo! And uh, I just it got an email from him a little while ago saying that he was sending me something really cool and unique. Uh, and it just happened to be arriving at the same time, but I had no idea how much uh, effort and everything he had gone in. You guys have already seen the preview picture for the video, so you know what's here. Uh, and, and, and it looks like he just completely went into something so amazing, and his friend Michael also got into 3D printing. Uh, and, and so the story goes that Torbjörn uh, also was uh, into tow trucks, right? Recovery vehicles. And he had the idea that he'd be able to uh, create something like this, if I understand the story properly. And his friend Michael is an absolute genius with 3D printing and came up with a whole system, a rolling rack uh, for the back of a, um, a King Hauler. Check it out. Also, they're, they're also uh, having the files online for free for everybody that wants to print theirs as well so amazing so I, I you know as I got this booklet in the mail I got this amazing box in the mail that held this beautiful truck I'm just honored to have it here um, it's it's a, 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 a personal treasure because Torbjörn and I go back a long time in fact he's the very first dude that ever got an RC Sparks tattoo uh, and <laughs> believe it or not that's crazy on his back uh, really hardcore and, and he went in and he made this booklet for me you know breaking down exactly how to use it he went in and labeled everything and sent me this note hey here's a truck which I thought would fit into your collection. The fact that we've known each other since the fall of 09, and one can say that we've gathered friends all around us over time. They help us to build and implement our ideas. That is so true, my friend. Uh, this truck came to a year ago, right? The idea must have come around a year ago. Thanks to my new friend, he is a god of 3D printers. He showed me uh, a hook truck and said that he could print one for me. We sat in Michael's house and talked about it and it hit me that you should get the first one so super cool I'll take the other now we tried for a year on shows to find the most errors on it so they're obviously they're trial and erroring it uh, has published the drawings on the page so you can download them for free uh, for folks and their 3d printers it is cheaper to do this than to buy one that is oil hydraulic uh, so I bought all the parts and Michael or Mikhail built one uh, and then he also sent us some t-shirts and uh, a few little goodies and things for little Morris and I and Jem. And I, I wanted, uh, he wanted us to share this with you just so you guys knew that it was out there. In fact, I asked him to send me a little bit more information and so I'm gonna read a little bit here. Um, all right, info now that it's all loaded up. 3D printed hook loader on a King hauler with a shortened cab. Designed to look like a real loader that you can find in Sweden and around the world by Joab, I think that's how I pronounce it, uh, or Joab for d those that are on uh, this side of the pond. The design took me about 50 or 60 hours to make and test. Here is a free download at thingiverse.com forward slash thing. You guys can see that at least. The electrical cylinder can be found in uh, at a German manufacturer called CTI Modelbau. On your truck, we mounted 100 millimeter long cylinders on, and on his Scania, he has 99 mils. The cylinders are controlled by the ESC from CTI Modelbau uh, or how is that how you pronounce it for the light on the truck i've used an adreno micro and some leds and some wires hooked it up through the rc receiver um, i can be found on instagram here and here's the thing verse and youtube awesome uh, he's the guy behind the wonderful building michael holton is his name he wanted to show me one thing a year ago and he showed me the scania hook and, and said i can do this for you i like american trucks so i had to have a king hauler with a short cab and as we sat 
sat there, I thought of you. So super cool. And I thought you'd probably appreciate a well-built truck. I drove it a year and many hobby show and truck shows so wicked to find uh, most bugs and there's and are certainly more. Hmm, okay. Uh, as the answer to your question, yes, I'm in the RC hobby still. Awesome. From the Tundra in the beginning because he had built a Tundra like based on our black one, but he did a beautiful sunset orange. Uh, surely uh, his hobby has expanded and uh, right to get through. It is called the RC for life. We provide the opportunity for children with cancer to come out and run cars in the woods or in hospitals to forget every everyday life a little bit so I live RC cars good for you buddy I'm so happy I do not want to push our friendship uh, but if you want follow me Instagram RC Vikings everybody goes over RC Vikings right now and show uh, him support man crush that like button here because this is just something super cool I love sharing uh, stories like this I should talk about you selling the 3d printed hook system in the video because I wrote below in a separate message I just wanted to make sure I'm doing the video properly uh, and he actually says it is for free. So free, free, free. I just wanted to make sure everybody knows it is free. So wow, man, just a super shout out to my friend uh, for taking the time to, you know, send something for my birthday, something for my young one. I don't have a public mailing address. We used to years ago, um, but a few of my friends are able to get to me that way. <laughs> but check it out. Everything is all 3D printed printed like the cab is is um, the king hauler but on top it's 3d printed here I look down at the radio look at this 3d printed on the inside to help with the different different stages of transmission because it'll be a three-stage transmission there is an 80 turned brushed motor in this thing it is a hauler indeed an 80 turn means that the wheels have a lot of torque it's not really made for high speed uh, 80 turn means more torque less high-end speed but lots of grunt power now this is actually how the tow hook is um, set up look at this other side now these are electric cylinders that he has in here. So I'm gonna have to actually look at this in more detail off camera and learn, but I knew you guys have been waiting for a video as well as I've been getting ready uh, recently for the big party that's coming up here. Ah, getting dark uh, on Saturday because we're gonna have some of my friends out racing around the tracks, having some good times uh, and uh, you know, playing some video games and foosball and whatnot, and whatnot, but still wanted to show you everything that was going on here. It's almost too much to show at once because the whole interior was done everything is just stunning so we're going to be seeing more of this truck coming up on the show shall we drive it around on the ground a little bit just to see how it looks i think so look at this 3d printed bumper everything so super cool man oh i'm honored all right here we go <laughs> super cool Tight turn around the, the micro course we have here. That's all right. Oh, almost. <laughs> Let's back it up a little. There we go. We might as well bring off the back right now. Maybe we can load up a mini Z. Wait a second, that's not a Kyosho Mini Z, that's a Losi Micro. A rally car. I think that'll be the perfect candidate. Definitely need some tie downs for that. That is the problem with not putting it in a park first. <laughs> Very cool. Nice. Sideways loading's where it's at. And unload. 
All right, guys, so you can see the world of 3D printing really is uh, the way the future is going. So many people can make new things, innovative ideas, uh, and really expand the hobby. I'm also gonna be looking into 3D printing coming up here pretty soon. Um, but, you know, uh, immediately upcoming on the show, we've got a new snowcat from Spiker Workshops that has just been released. Uh, obviously, it's an answer to the uh, forever legendary Kyosho Blizzard that's out there. So we're going to look at that in detail. Uh, it is also 3D printed. You've seen Spiker Workshops uh, do different things before. For example, that snowblower we have right there uh, was and is a 3D uh, printed job by Spiker Workshops. You can also see some other things coming up with my X-Max. We're gonna be replacing the bumper on Everett's X-Max since the last bash session. Also wanna fix one of the arms on my Traxxas E Revo. Got a few other things up my sleeve, including my birthday party coming up. I'll try to film some of that for you guys so you're included in that as well. Um, but really, overall, I want you guys to get out there and have fun with the hobby of radio control because there is so many things it can offer where strangers become friends, Friends become family, and you're all out there enjoying the RC hobby together. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in and checking out this great gift from my friend Torbjorn, uh, and uh, we will definitely see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Bye for now.